Industry heavyweights and space lovers converged on Adelaide for this year's International Astronautical Congress. The highlight of the event was without doubt space royalty, entrepreneur and billionaire Elon Musk. He's long made it known he wants to make humans an interplanetary species to make sure we don't go the way of the dinosaurs. Now he says he'll start a colony on the red planet with the first human flights in 2024. Then build up the base, starting obviously with one, one ship, then multiple ships, then start building out the city, then making the city bigger, <laughs> even bigger. Yeah, and, and, and over time terraforming Mars and making it uh, really a nice place to be. Lockheed Martin too has plans to get humans to the red planet. It revealed more about its blueprint for a Mars base camp that will orbit the moon and act as a launching pad for human missions to Mars. It believes it can have it operational in a decade. In about five billion years, give or take, the sun will eventually be going to a red giant. It will expand and devour the earth. So at least in five billion years, we need to have somewhere else. Now, how much do you need to worry about it in 2017? Fair question, but, but eventually, you got to get off the planet if we're going to continue as a as a as the human race. At the moment, all we have on Mars are two rovers, like this replica of the Curiosity. And while there are many companies here that believe humans will journey to Mars within this generation and possibly even colonize it, there are doubts about whether Mars should be considered a backup plan to Earth. All missions to Mars need the help of one of three NASA Deep Space Command centers. This one is near Australia's capital, Canberra. It operates like air traffic control, but for space, sending commands and receiving signals from spacecraft. And all the vital communications for any human missions to Mars will also go through here. I think one of the things that a journey to Mars will tell us most especially is that really in reality, Earth is all we've got. We have to look after this planet first and foremost. Going off to Mars is going to have to create a whole range of new technologies to survive in an environment that's trying to kill you every second of the day. And there's no shortage of companies working on those technologies to keep humans alive in deep space. Technologies that, if nothing else, could perhaps be useful to humans on Earth too. Yarab Melham, Al Jazeera, Adelaide.